so we've been very much we'll covered these three kinds of these three aspects and uh, many of the problematics that we currently face and, and shown that well it's a historical process that's led to, to this juncture let's uh, let's briefly get into what uh, I mean, practical solutions that people can start applying today because uh, none of this is really rocket science and um, and starting to break out of, of, uh, of this dependency and this uh, you know wasteful way of living that uh, benefits uh, neither us nor anyone else within the system really uh, it comes down to something very very simple uh, informing yourself uh, yeah and, and at least at, at least at attempting to be independent how can you talk about liberty and, and freedom if you're not even trying mm -hmm. to liberate yourself so why are you using proprietary software why are you not uh, baking your own bread? Mm -hmm. Why aren't you reducing your need uh, for transportation? Yeah. Th th this is something very uh, simple. Mm -hmm. Why are you buying uh, a Gucci bag? Seriously, yeah. it's a bag. Also, I mean, something like the, the, I mean, the most powerful tool uh, in any democracy that, uh, I mean, it, it's, we don't see it used much, not even discussed much, but, but it, it, it's, it's where your personal power lies, or where it begins really, the, the way the system is set up now, this is a boycott. Um, I mean, just, just researching something a little bit and finding out that, that, that say, a company like Coca-Cola or McDonald's, I mean, 100% unsustainable and, 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 and geared toward profits and, and find loopholes and not paying taxes and, and so forth and so on. and, and that is a really, really, really good place to start. Find some things and well, stop doing them, stop buying them, stop supporting them, and yeah, take it again, from there. This is, this is, this is systemic, mm -hmm. right? And what's happened is that they have removed any real remnant of uh, natural law and the law of natural land. Um, we've had a flood. Mm -hmm. It is the law of the sea that governs everything now. The corporations are ruling everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have everything is in, in uh, on the agenda of the um, uh, of the global markets, and and trade is, is is a good thing. Again, it can be very uh, positive. It's just that if it supersedes and uh, and 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 trumps natural law, mm -hmm. then we are all under water. So, so we have no local uh, lo local culture. We have uh, no uh, local rights. Mm -hmm. Everything is just about contract law. Everything is maritime law. Yeah. Uh, and this is also why you hear the slogan these days about victimless crime. Victimless crime is exactly that. That's something that is only about money or monetary damages. Mm. But it, it it's. It's what governs everything these days. Right. And part of it, of course, also is, is the fact that and the situation we are in globally and, and locally and, and within the system, which is suddenly if you live in the developed world, I mean, it, it's, you live in the global system and you, you live at the cusp of where uh, humanity has been allowed to develop. I mean, you, you live in the 21st century, people in the middle of Africa, well, don't in that sense uh, because the, their society hasn't uh, been allowed or hasn't had the possibility to b get to a level where it is this complex. So it's, it's you know, you can see that as them living somewhere in prehistory whereas we live within the interconnected interpersonal internet space. But how is it that if we have more structural wealth, more knowledge, uh, more of everything, that we have not been able to sustain uh, a reduced um, intensity of labor. Why is it that people in um, indigenous tribes mm -hmm. only work for two or four hours a day to sustain life and have houses and stuff? They have a life. No, they don't have iPhones or Gucci bags or, or diamond rings, but they are able to sustain themselves with that 
low and uh, labor intensity. And they have. Uh, How come uh, we need that much? They are, they are much well. They have much more time, if you will. I mean, they are time rich compared to us. Yeah. Uh, and, and well, I mean that is well similar answer. That's just the way the system is. And then we go into questioning why that, that is set up that way. But but interesting aspect about uh, say living in this this period this time in, in the developed world. If you look look at uh, what human beings are actually doing in these societies, uh, how the bodies spend their time. Uh, an interesting uh, comparison looks like whether or not you're working. Um, or uh, no, it's time off, or you're unemployed, or whatnot. You're old. You're pension. You're in school. Uh, if, if you look at what the bodies are actually doing, they are mostly they are seated uh, or in transit, uh, and somehow uh, operating and servicing machinery. And this goes whether or not you are working or relaxing or unemployed within. Uh, a service and information based economy. Uh, it's, it's just me, that's a really, really, really interesting fact because uh, it, it's to, to a large degree it, it, it annuls the, the difference between working and not working. Um, if your body is in connection with and to an extent servicing machinery like ours is right now. But that's, that's because in the Western world, the structural wealth and the degrees of technology today and the efficiency of the systems are actually so high that if we did not create artificial needs, if we didn't, uh, if we didn't do the whole marketing and branding and artificial scarcity and all these things, if, if we didn't do that, almost everything would be free mm -hmm. because everything would be dropping in value every single day. If you built houses each year and there's not an increase in population, how on earth are you going to sell those houses? They're going to get cheaper and cheaper. How come our houses are then getting more and more expensive? Mm -hmm. Structural wealth should always decrease in value. Yeah. It, makes, it makes no sense and it's because of the fact that there is really no labor in the Western world. There's hardly any labor. We, we all just... It takes, it takes one farmer to feed maybe a thousand people. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, it's all become uh, intellectual constructs. It's all the myth. The myth of servicing machinery in this way, which is, uh, or that way, is then call the jobs and call the work. And, 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 and servicing machinery in that other way is called, uh, you know, unemployment or, or just time off. Um, and it's all just different forms of waiting for hey, Godot, as it were. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's it's systemic fallowing. Mm -hmm. There's obvious fallowing, and then there's the uh, pacifying fallowing, where they're giving you a job that's not really needed. 